Hello everybody, this is Miss Sharon and my lovely assistant. What is your name? Jada. <laughs> and how old are you, Jada? Five and a half. And we're going to demonstrate how to do the performance program makeup for little girls. So this is for the nine and under group that's going to have slightly less, no big dramatic eyeliner and things like that, but they still need to have enough makeup that we see their features on stage and they have a uniform look across the whole group of dancers. So first we're just gonna make sure we have nice clean surface to work with. Is this tickle? So we're gonna make sure they're nice and clean. All right, and little ones don't need foundation. What I do recommend, and I'm gonna use on Miss Jada over here, is a tinted moisturizer. That's gonna help the makeup set and actually stay on their face for a longer period of time without having to reapply. Um, it won't wear off and there won't be, you know, sweating and craziness backstage. There won't be any oil that's going to start seeping through their little faces. That looks like um, chocolate ice cream. Looks like chocolate ice cream. Even better. Okay. So just putting a little bit of, you know, just tinted moisturizer. So you see it's going to cover evenly, but it's nothing that's going to change the color of their skin tone. It's nothing dramatic. It's not going to be heavy. It's not going to kick up on them. Gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Speedy version. I almost had a beard for a second. <laughs> Okay, so just so we have a nice, even over their eyelids is helpful, is a nice base to go with. Okay, and then after that, it's gonna dry a little teeny tiny bit. Then we're gonna just hit it with some nice translucent powder. So, some nice powder. So what you would use, you know, something for yourself in a compact, you can use a brush to put it on, you can use the little sponges that it comes with. And again, just to help set the makeup, um, it's gonna be a nice base to hold the blush on, to hold the eyeshadow on. And again, so that they won't be shiny on stage. Um, we're going to turn on so that everything sets nicely and we don't have to worry about them reapplying too often. Nothing's going to fade too quickly. When your dancers have multiple dances to do, this is very important because backstage there will be quick changes or even just in the craziness of the day of the dressing room, you know, they won't have to reapply too, too much if they're going with fast changes in between competition numbers or especially on recital day as that tends to happen. Okay, so nice and even and smooth and soft. Again, nothing crazy, everything's safe for them. You can get that all make kind, that's hypoallergenic, but whatever you know you would use on yourself is generally safe enough and good to use for them. And for every once in a while. Okay, their eyes is going to be probably what is the most confusing. So you're gonna make sure you get that um, L'Oreal Studio Secrets HIP High Intensity Pigment. Um, and this is stuff that's going to look good on all the skin tones. It's going to also help them out with um, really brightening their eyes on stage, a nice uniform look for everyone. This is the one that's called either Gilded. There's another one that was called Dynamic. They discontinued it, but if you can still find it, that's a great one. They are going to use both of these shades and colors. So Jade is gonna close her eyes, and you have the option of using either this little applicator that they sent with it, or you can use a brush. So we're gonna use the brush because I find that helps me get it on a little bit quicker and a little bit smoother, a little more coverage. She's gonna close her eyes, but don't squint them. Just close, easy peasy. You can just hold up their eyebrow. That helps to smooth it out a little bit. Doesn't hurt, right? Kind of chickles, am I right? And get it all in there. And you wanna go across, oh, don't squish, across the eyelid, up through the crease. Not quite to the eyebrow, but this way you're getting some nice coverage. Now, they are little. I don't expect anything crazy on them that, you know, you're gonna be embarrassed to send them out to the Dunkin' Donuts on the way over. But they do, like I said, they do need to have coverage that we're going to be able to see and bring out their features on stage. Maybe we're just going to do one eye to save time. What do you think? Do you want a left sided one or do you want me to do both? Both. Okay. The woman has spoken. But it's quick. It's nothing that's going to be crazy or take, you know, too, too long for you. But you do want to make sure that you practice on your dancer um, before performance day, before competition day. Because just in case, you know, everyone's still learning and they need to know what to expect as well. You're kind of used to me putting makeup on you, right? Yeah. A little bit, every once in a while. But this way, you know, no tears the morning before the show and less stress for you if you've got a couple of practices under your belt. So nice even, a nice gold eyelid that looks pretty and it's gonna pop on stage, fabulous. Okay, now the part that's gonna get confusing is this nice dark shade over here. You're like, why am I putting something this dark on my dancer? It brings out their features. Um, it gives them more of a nice, wide-eyed, bright look, and we're not gonna do anything too dark on them when they're little. So you're gonna tap your brush, you're gonna tap your applicator, and you're gonna shake it off a little bit because then it won't cake up too much. Have a very gentle touch at first. Shh, close your eyes, okay? 
close your eyes. A nice gentle touch. Don't get in there. If anything too dark, just get a nice gentle touch and start to go around to try and make a half moon. So clearly, my touch was a little too gentle. I can use a little bit more. But again, just a half moon that's going to go all the way up close to the end of that eyebrow. And again, nothing too dark and crazy. It just looks overwhelming when it's inside the inside the actual package of the eyeshadow. But nothing too dark, nothing too heavy, but enough that it's going to bring out good features. Keep that eye closed, sweetie. And a little half moon circle that's going to go around. Now what I like to do after getting this layer in there is to go back and hit it up with that gold again. Because the gold is going to, you know, we, we want to just blend it in a little bit more so we don't lose the gold completely. Okay, a little half moon going around. You can go not all the way into the corner of their eye socket, but just a little bit half moon on in. Okay. And we're going to put back a little bit more of that pretty gold one up over the top. Close your eyes, baby. Find it all. Oh, it's closed. Okay, I know it's closed. Sorry about that. Okay, and then the last piece of the puzzle to that that's going to help blend it all together again is that nice white frosted icing. Frosted icing, L'Oreal number 901. So the frosted icing, so same thing. It usually comes with an applicator that ours is long gone, but it usually comes with an applicator. You can use that. Or just again, use your brush. So I'll use the other side of the gold one. Okay, and this white one is going to really make their eyes pop. So we're going to see some nice bright features right underneath the eyebrow. And it's going in, and it's going to come all the way around into the corner of her eye so that when she's on stage, her eyes are nice and bright and wide open. Sometimes when the girls smile, I tend to squint a little bit. I know I always did when I was on stage. My mother used to yell at me. Stop squinting on stage like you can control it. But this will help them to keep their eyes open nice and bright and wide, okay? So easy peasy. And we have a nice look, sophisticated, okay? We're going to really bring out their features when they're up there. So a little bit more of that white for you, Missy Miss. They agree with your bold eyes. I like did one right now, sweetie, because we're trying to not make people watch this video for 25 minutes. Okay, and anything that comes too far over to the side, you just go back and you take either the sponge that you use for their foundation or moisturizer, or you can even use just the sponge that you use with the foundation and just clean it up a little bit. That's all that it's there for. Easy peasy, okay? So I'm gonna real quick do the other eye so that we're not lopsided, a little missy. Okay, so turn your face this way a tiny bit, okay? So just get from the corner up into the crease and around and in. So, you know, I've used my fingers for this before. You can use the applicator that they gave you. You can use a Q-tip. Really, whatever is the best, <laughs> the best medium <laughs> for you to use. Pick the tool that you want. And again, you'll only know from practicing with it. So bring it over a little bit, not quite into the corner. A little half moon circle over here, up almost to the end of that eyebrow. And you can go a little bit over the side. Um, that'll just tie it all together. Well, Make up teeny tiny eyes with the face. It's not like we're doing anything dramatic, no Cleopatra, but just to bring out their features. Cleopatra. Cleopatra. Mm. He's not Cleo. <laughs> sure. Okay. I think you're thinking of Monster High. All right. And right back underneath those eyebrows to blend it all in together inside the corner. Turn your face into the corner. That's going to really open up their eyes. Up and around. Womp. Blend it up, <laughs> get it out of your actual eyebrow. Okay, open your eyes, smell pretty? Yes, okay Missy, all right. The other thing that is tricky for this age sometimes is the mascara. Mascara, we have a trick, what's our secret? Open your eyes and then I say, blink, and you go, mm, and I go right across it, right? <laughs> blink, just like yeah. that. Okay, that's our, that's our mascara secret. And you can do it any way you want. <laughs> your dream is coming true. It's like you're making your own YouTube video. Okay, I know. Okay, okay, open your eye. Open, open, and hang on to it, ready. Open, <laughs> blink, open, blink, blink, blink. open. <laughs> you can't giggle and do it though. And blink, blink, relax, <laughs> take a minute. Open, blink, uh-huh, open, blink, relax, take a moment. Okay, look over there. Open, blink, open, blink. There you go, don't blink too hard, honey. Blink like you Look that way a little bit. Open, blink, open, blink, open.
big blank. Form. Okay. We might need to get a new mascara by the time it's performance time. Ours is a little bit outdated. I think we can get a better one. And I think, you know, depending on their 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 regular skin tone and their hair, um, black is the way to go. If you have a really light blondie, you can use a black brown, but black is usually our friend when it comes to this kind of thing. Open. And one more time. Womp. Let's try this side, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One better lefty on the left. Okay, open. And blink. Open. Blink. Open. Oh, open more. Blink. Like that one. Open. Blink. Open. Blink. Look the other way. Let's go this way across. Look that way. Open. Blink. Open. Blink. We're getting it. We're getting it. All right, look at me. Wow, so fantastic. All right, please. All right. Who's for the moment? All right, now moving on to your blush. Cover girl. Cover what? <laughs> Cover what? <laughs> Cover girl. All right, let's talk about Pearly plum or purely plum? We've seen it both different ways, but you have the three different colors here. So this is a highlighter for the top of that brow bone. <laughs> Give them some nice cheekbones. Um, I like to just blend the two colors together. So same thing. You can use this guy that came with it. Sometimes that's tricky because you might get stripes. So you want to be careful and make sure if you're using that, you want to make little round circles on them. But like I said, blend the two together. Give it a nice little smush around. Tap it out a little bit so that, you know, you don't get an eruption of color on their face. But I'm going to try to a little bit, honey. And just little circles. Tap it on. Make little tiny circles. Not very big cheeks that we're working with here. The little tiny, teeny tiny guys. But we do need to have a lot of blush on them because we're not going to be able to see their features on stage. So, like Jada's got a fair complexion, just like her mom. We're not very tan. So, we want to be able to see on stage what <laughs> all those smiling cheekbones that we got going on, right? Mm -hmm. With your smile teeth. Oh, yeah, oh just, that's the one. Turn this way, honey. Okay, so you can do little circles and work the apples and all the way up. Just like that. <laughs> Just like apples. These are called the apples of your cheeks. Oh. All right. Okay, all the way up. Blending it in. Okay. And then from there, nice color. You know, you can kind of dip it into that lighter one on the other side. And that just goes, it's just a little highlighter. Just to go right here. A little extra sparkle. Fabulous. And this way. A little extra sparkle on the top. And that's just going to contour a little bit, give her a little bit of highlight. So on stage, you're really going to see those cheeks popping. All right, Missy? It feels right. good okay. because it feels like a real brush. Real brush. That's good to know. Okay, now here's my secret about lipstick. First, we're going to put on this Olaf Lip Smacker. Ready to go. Ah. Okay, which they can all do themselves. Okay, this helps when they've got, you know, it's winter time. They've got some chap lips going on. Now they're really, really good. Really super duper good. Okay? So rub that chapstick in, and then after that chapstick's on there, we're gonna wipe it right off. Open, open, kiss it, or right down our neck. Okay, we're gonna actually wipe the chapstick off, but it at least moisturize our lips. Okay, you can open it um, And got it so that when the lipstick itself goes on, it's not gonna be too dry, and then they're not able to smile when that happens, right? The smile and it's kind of like, you can't open your mouth, gets a little bit cracked. So we're gonna take our, this is the one, L'Oreal True Red. Make no mistake, it's really, ooh, go in a second. Really, really red. All right, this looks scary at first. It's not that scary because we're gonna mute it down a tiny, tiny bit. Again, gonna use a light, light touch. You can just use the actual lipstick itself, a lipstick brush, a Q-tip, whatever helps you app app apply it. Um, open light, exactly, not too much, not too much. Like, ah, uh, ah, uh. fabulous. Okay, and gentle, gentle, gentle. If you wanted to use a lip liner, by all means you can. JD's in one dance for performance, for competition, and for the benefit. She's in three dances for recital, holy moly. That day you might use a lip liner. Um, we'll see how it goes. We're going to see what we think. But a lip liner, you know, does make it easier to kind of fill in the blanks. If you use a lip liner, I say cover the entire lips in the lip liner. We'll show you that when we do the big girls video. They're yawning while I'm doing this. <laughs> Okay, relax. Uh, um, you know, that actually helps so you don't just follow the line. You actually get to follow and go right across. It, it helps it stay on longer. All right. Okay. Relax for a second. Close your mouth. Go up. 
Okay, and then we go and we correct it. So ah, one more time. Fill in where we missed. Follow, 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 follow. All right. And then you're just gonna take a little teeny tiny and kind of work around it. <laughs> My granny used to paint, you know, above her lip line with her lipstick just to make her lips look a little bit fuller. But we're not gonna try and do that. We're just gonna keep it on those lips, Missy Miss. And then you can always hit this with a clear gloss on the top. You don't want to use a colored one because that'll mute the color of it. It's got to be red, red. And your costume is red and black anyway, so it's going to match perfect, right? And white. And white. Red and black and white. So You forgot. Okay. Sorry about that. So we're going to make sure that we have nice, bright lips for Super Smile. So on your mark, it set. Super Smile. Fantastic. Okay, now a regular smile. Yes. There we go. So this is the... So this is the gist of how to do performance makeup for the littlest girls that we have, ages nine and under, because from far away, we're gonna see them on stage. So, <laughs> okay, we got it, we got it, girlfriend. So let's see, can we zoom out at all? Can we back it up a little bit, go from farther away? So as we zoom out, you see, we can see her eyes, we can see her smile, 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 we can see her cheeks, and this is the way to go and on competition day and performance day. One, two, three, and we're done. Smile big. Thank you for watching.